Windows Azure by default it is test in emulator. Now the next step is I want to go ahead and test my application on the cloud. So deployed on the cloud. So now I choose on Windows Azure I choose deployment to cloud. Also you, if you see here do you want to have remote access for this particular demo? I'll say I don't want to connect remotely to this particular virtual machine which is created for me on the cloud. So I uncheck the option for remote desktop connection. I say deployment to the cloud. I say OK. And then I go ahead and build this project. Once I build this project, you will see in the deploy folder, it is going to create a new set of files. Three, basically, you will have three files. One file will be the configuration file that you require on this screen. You require the configuration file. It will create for you based on the setting that you do. It will also create a package location, package file. And third and the important thing is it will also create a shortcut or a URL file which will try to open the Windows Azure management portal here. So let's see if it is created. Once this project is successfully built, you will see those three files getting created in the folder that is deployed. Okay. And once that is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and browse that file locally, browse the package locally, and I'm going to upload that for you all to access it. So let's quickly, yeah, so that's done. So in the deploy folder, you can now see you have a CS package, the cloud service package file, you have the configuration file, and in the portal URL which you have. So my job is now very simple. I simply want to go ahead and browse the package file, wherever it is. You can see this is the package file. Similarly, if you see this is your configuration file, I say OK. You probably will get a warning here because I have said that I want only one instance to be deployed. And as for Microsoft, if you need a good SLA for making your application highly available, you need to at least have two instances. But I can say override. And now my application is now getting deployed live. Now how will Will you access it? My application will be accessible at this URL, and the URL will be Nilesh app, Nilesh Java app dot cloud app dot net. But this will be available and slash uh, the name that you give, and it was Azure demo. So this is the URL which you can catch probably after the webinar. I repeat, you can see the URL, Nilesh Java app dot cloud app dot net is the domain and slash Azure demo is the war which has my JSP file. So this is the URL which you're going to test after some time. Now please note that the size of the file is pretty huge. So if you check this out, if you check the uh, folder, this would be more than around 100 MB because that folder, that uh, package will contain the Java, the JDK zip, it will contain the Tomcat zip, so if you see this package file, that's around 115 MB. So it's going to take sufficient amount of time to actually go ahead and make your application up and running on the cloud for you to access. So probably keep this application up and running for another, say, one hour or so. So after 10, 15 minutes, after the webinar finishes, you may want to test this application, which is there. But to make sure things work, I have already deployed an application here for your convenience to check, check out. So right now also if you see this, you have dot cloud app dot net and again the war was uh, as your demo. So this is a, another application which is just deployed. You can see this. The application is out here. NW a JSP app dot cloudtab dot net and that's where your application uh, will be there. So right now the application is in the staging environment. So this is a staging URL and from this URL you can actually go ahead and test the application. So 
let's check it out. So here you go. So the Tomcat is now running on the cloud to access my application. You have Azure demo and here you go. So this is the public URL which is there uh, running, my application is running on the cloud. So right now it's running in the staging environment. I can move this to the production environment. So as soon as I move the application to the production environment, then this application will not be accessible at this testing URL, but this application will be accessible at this particular URL. So this is the application which you may want to test it, cloudapp.net slash Azure demo, but this will not be accessible just now. Once this migration of the application from staging to production happens, you can test this particular application. So here's a quick summary of what we discussed today. You know, Today, we discussed what is Windows Azure. We discussed what all are the prerequisites that you need to have on your machine so that you can go ahead and deploy your Java applications uh, using uh, Eclipse onto your Microsoft Cloud. And then, uh, we also saw how to configure the Windows Azure plugin. And lastly, we completely uh, saw a demo of how to create a JSP application using Eclipse for Windows Azure, test it locally, which I have already showed you, and then deploy it on the cloud, which again I have showed you, but the deployment of 100 MB is going to take time. You can see here, it's creating the virtual machine, and the upload is happening. So that is it from uh, my end. I think by now, this application should be available in production, and now uh, we can go ahead. So if you want, you can test this URL right away. Uh, for production as well, you know, this is a URL that you can test after another five minutes so that this will be moved to production here. This is some process still happening. When this is done, the application will be available on the production environment. So that is it from my end. Uh, again, uh, sorry for that uh, seven, eight minutes delay uh, of the session. Uh, that was because of the connectivity issues which I was facing. So, but I'm glad that I uh, was able to uh, complete the demo uh, that I wanted to do, cover the concepts, to make sure that you all are now aware of, first thing is yes, Java application can be deployed on Windows Azure, and second, you're aware of how do we do that. If you have any further queries, please feel free to drop a note to me at nwdk.gmail.com or write back to me on the particular tech geek uh, portal itself. So both options are pretty much okay with me. So now we uh, open up for questions and before you drop out, let me uh, thank you all for being patient and you know listening to the topic that we wanted to cover today. Thank you all and you may want to test these URLs uh, for yourself. So the one URL that is already up and running which will be made available uh, live in another two minutes and the one that we tested uh, right now was this application which is get, still getting deployed. It will take around 15-20 minutes of time so that it gets deployed on the public cloud. So that's the same URL is what you can test probably after 15-20 minutes. This URL will be activable, accessible for the application that we just deployed during this particular webinar. So thank you all. Uh, we are uh, requesting a, a tech game moderator to go ahead and send the questions to me.